So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive match-up, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained. But if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. We have already started here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Thomas Muller. He's just got something a little bit different, Peter, in that he always finds some space and, and times his runs to perfection. He's not exactly known for the spectacular, but he certainly knows where the goal is, and he's a, a proper striker in the sense that he doesn't mind how scruffy things get as long as the ball crosses the line. Has a goal! No, that wasn't kidding anyone. I actually fancied him to score then, but we should give the keeper credit for, for doing his bit. Kimmich. Germany are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not... He's gone for it! Phillips. And it's Tony Kroos. And it... Tries a shot! Goal! Germany! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Forward it goes. Foden. Foden with a delicate ball. Goes for goal! Foden is fouled. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. There aren't many who'd be prepared to wind up a shot from this far out. That was travelling. Sterling, shapes to shoot! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Phillips, and he's there to cut it out. Chance to break, he's found his man. He's got the, he's had a go! And it's played forward, Sterling. And it's Kane.
Kimmich. Rudiger. Tries to get it forward quickly. Sterling with a definite foul there. Sterling is being told in no uncertain terms that this will be his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Sterling. Now it's Kane. And helps available out wide. And here's Kane. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. That's a good... And Sterling! And he's there to hoof it away. Over to the left. Sterling. And it's Shaw. Shaw knocks one in. Ginter gets good distance on it. And we hit half-time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. England need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Gnabry. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Phillips drives it forward. And here's Kane. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock-solid. That's clear-cut. It's a free kick. Kane. Foden, Foden, Mant. Kane is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, as a presence, Peter, he's the important link, so he attracts most attention. Neuer gets it upfield. Mats Hummels. Hoists it forward, receives it from behind, delivers a cross. Stones gets it away. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Shaw gets it away. Sterling gets flagged offside. Maguire. And here's Kane. Sterling, he's had a shot! How about that? He tried the chip, but it wasn't his best. There's no doubt he made the right decision, but without the right result. Foden. 
Dinks one in. Goretzka is there and he can get that clear. And he's cut it out. Rudiger gets rid without sophistication. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Stones does well there, alert. And here's Sterling. Hits one! In for the pieces! It's a goal! England are back in business! Neuer reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. The changes then in quick succession. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Germany disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Sterling. Chance! Goal, England! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Germany making another change here. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Gundogan. Walker cuts it out. And it's Kane. Now it's Sterling. Sterling has a hit! And yes, it's there! Two ahead, late in the day, game over, surely. England are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. England, two up and into a position of real strength. 
Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Muller really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Now it's Kane. Some excellent tackling here. And that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Now it's Kane. Crunching tackle. Max Hummels. Inter. Rudiger. Rudiger goes looking. Tony Kroos played out to the right. He gets past his man. Towering header. Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Shaw lobs it in gently. Well read, he sorted that out. And that will be the final act. England winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen and won.